Hey there, everyone, this is Alcow, playing Sonic the Hedgehog 4! Wow! We got three worlds completed, and here's the fourth one, the Mad Gear Zone! Dr. Eggman's secret base! Escape the cog trap and impending doom! This sounds like a great time. Alright, well, here's the secret base. It's right there. This can be, like, the first level you do. No, I think you need to start with Splash Hill 1. But after that... I thought the pistons in the foreground were like a thing that I had a dodge, but I the yeah, get steamed, steamed hog, FM stereo, bop bop bubble, look at that, yeah. Welcome to Brain Scrap Zone, except more Metropolis. You know, it's like it's a uh, yeah, it's Metropolis Brain Scrap together. No, this is a bit more plain. Oh, it's that guy, the mantis who hangs by the ledge. I wanted to go up there, probably instead, but I saw the ramp. Whoa, get steamed! Whoa, get pushed! Uh, here, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay, get steamed over there. Become a hill. A hill? Become a hill. What? Alright, my there are limits to the homing attack. Hey, that's not surprising. But don't get steamed into the spikes. Okay, so you can attack the crab from a distance. And you look at that! Yeah, no, this is Metropolis, like, blatantly. Let's get blatant! There I could've jumped up onto a thing where there was a steam trap, but I didn't. I don't know why there I jumped over the pipes, because this time I was like, well, maybe there'll be a thing. There was not a thing. Nothing here. No things here. Get what larb in despair, yes. Whoa! Okay, I jumped exactly at the spot that would get me killed. It's a good day for a matinee. It's, oh, look at that! The pressure gauge is like... I don't, well, I can't really say accurate, but simulates being accurate. For like a better word, don't get smashed. That's the plan. Try to home main attack these boxes, but he's not, I guess because he's too close. Sad. All right. Sonic is too sad, but legally he's not allowed to. Ridic uh, okay. Um, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Here's where's all the stars. So yeah, here. Okay, you're allowed to stay on that edge, and I didn't realize that when I jumped, like, over, because I thought I'd just get crushed. Oh, and also there's not even a pit here? Alright, so I guess I'm just missing out on some bonuses. It's not even death or anything. But we got to experience the world. I'm gonna do that. And then go real fast. Get steamed into a squared shape. Little bunny managed to escape. It's pretty good. Hey, here's the save over here. Like, if I had not doubled back, I wouldn't have known this. What? I guess I guess I'm going down this hill, destroying walls. That's pretty much appealing. Oh, okay, I'm not going up there. Instead, I decide to curl up. Welcome to the danger place. All right, I guess we're out. Now I'm gonna run down this thing and end up somewhere I don't wanna be. This is a little bit silly. I might get crushed. But I didn't- okay, thank you, Shield, uh, for being here for me. You are nice, green, and round. Uh, the best things on Earth can all be described that way. Right, well, I'm landed somewhere, and here's a bar at midpoint. Then I'm gonna fly somewhere and get that- Oh, okay, yeah, no, I got got. Okay, here I also got got. I'm still alive, though. I am still alive, in spite of everything. Whoa, the homing attack did not home attack at all! Great! I mean, I guess there was not a, uh, aiming reticle on it. I mean, sometimes you just kind of have to do things. So, you gotta time it, so yeah, so that the spikes are attracted. Like, same thing happened. Like, I go for the homing attack, so I guess I'm too high up, and so the homing attack does not homing attack. Yeah. 
Alright, so... I gotta, yeah, I gotta make sure that I get back down a bit before I do the homing attack. Because otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to. You know, that's, that's just how things work out, and it's fine. It was purely a me thing. Okay, so it's safe to be on you. So I guess what I'm gonna do is this, and wait until the timing is good. Is it ever going to be? I don't think it's ever going to be good. Oh boy. Yeah. Um. No. I wanted to jump, but I guess, uh. Man, uh. Oh, okay. Okay, I managed to pull it off, and I would have totally gone into the ring if it existed, but I only had seven. Only had seven rings in hand! Uh, did not fit the meter. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we died a few times. There's a few instant death here and there. Little traps. Well, we're talking about trap. Welcome to Cog Trap. Welcome to the Cog Trap channel. That's the cog. Is it trapping, though? It could be. Oh boy, okay. Uh, so I just played Castlevania not long ago. So, you know, I, I kind of get cogs. Whoa, press the button and win a ticket. Alright. Here we go. Go into this tube. And burst out of this tube and then get crushed if you don't get out of the trap. Or something like that. Well, check it out, it's a mantis! Just in there with its claws up! Oh, we even recreate the fun little yellow things. My nostalgia knows no bound. So, from information that was given to me, from scout- What? Oh. From scouting that I was offered, apparently this game being a lot of rethreads is on purpose. Uh, apparently the idea, so okay, it's true that by the time Sonic 4 uh, existed, like before that, I don't think there was any like nostalgia based Sonic games released, right? So it might have been the first of its kind, and so I'm not going to fault them for mostly rethreading the classics. I think it makes sense. I kind of see what they're doing. It's just when you're being advertised the concept of Sonic 4. Oh boy, that that was a sniping star. Wow. I'm walking. Um yeah, I feel like rethreading like the whole game being a rethread just does not work with what people would expect. So like I understand philosophically their idea I don't think it was a good one like I can understand where they're coming from oh that's neat and uh, yeah that's my thought on that in particular like it's just I don't know and then they would redo this idea but a lot more explicitly in Sonic generation and it turns out you know once it's known ahead of time people are very accepting of it also making a good game helps I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, didn't get up there. I guess I'm going down the gears. Oh, we're going the other way this time. And we got starfish everywhere. They're ready to explode in despair. But I am not. Get sniped and fall. Yay, I did it. I got snipped and fell. Now I am somewhere. Oh, that. Yeah, there's a button there. Solve the puzzle, press the button, get a passageway, ignore the loudness. I get it. Why is balloon guy there? I don't know, he's ballooning. Let him balloon. I'm going all across the world, hitting a switch that I don't even understand. Hitting boxes as I go, and then I'm gonna die somewhere else. Gonna get smushed or gonna fall in a pit. The rings barely matter at all, but that's okay, that's a game we play. Whoa! Can you go down with this? Oh, that, there, there, there was no friction at all! Bopping into those strange little solid blocks, like it's just no, instantly ignored. There's a crab that, well yeah, I did not get a refund on like all 50 rings I had. 
but that's the kind of thing you expect. Okay, and I think that opened that, huh? Wait, how is this gonna work now? Alright, Crab needs to die. Alright, yeah, I cannot interact with you. Yeah, and that wall needs to be opened up. Okay, but you give me a way to go back. I appreciate it, because otherwise it'd be impossible in that beat. Kinda lame, check out this jogging form, it's insane, now the crab is dead, so I can get caught on these gears. I did it! Get fast, roll up into a ball, then defy gravity, that's all. Oh yeah, that, 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 that happened indeed. I'm not sure what I could have done. Like, I'm sure there's probably something I could have done, but, like, I don't- I am not sure what it would be. I don't know why I'm here, but I am. Now I'm going down another pit indeed, and then it's gonna fall. So I made a jump, now I- well, yeah, mm-hmm. Fantastic. Oh, let's grab that real quick. Hi! It's a checkpoint at the bottom of the pit. That platform wants to move a little bit- wow, I'm just- these guys are just, like, in the spaces. Like, I'm just kind of not sure. See, if you can go real fast, the animals around you can't do What? Oh, I'm up here now. Uh, this is a bit weird. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, yeah. That's cool. That was legit pretty rad. Interrupting, being like slammed around by doing a deathly aimed uh, spinning attack. Like, that was pretty cool. I thought I was neat. And I think I'm going to stop it here. This wasn't like the longest video in the universe, but I mean, you know, 4-3 might be and then like I would rather have the boss and this probably last level together. So like basically I'm making this a slightly shorter video so that next time we don't have a super tiny video. I think that makes sense. Uh, yeah. My question is, once I inevitably beat the game with, like, no more Chaos Emeralds, are people interested in me getting Chaos Emeralds in early levels and doing the special worlds? I know that the effect probably isn't worth it, but I'm genuinely curious to see, uh, to see the levels themselves. So, I think I just talked myself out of it? Uh, no, into it? So talking me out of it might be hard, but hey, if anyone wants to give it a shot, go for it.